The familiar sound of Craig Montgomery trying to slither his way out of another mess. Ah, well, listen, maybe your wife can talk some sense into you. <laughs> What's the problem this time? Your husband wants to put me in jail based on a pack of lies Mitzi Matters told. Jack, can I have a word with you privately, please? Thought you'd never ask. Got him right where we want him. Yeah, it's good, honey. Now let him go. Excuse me? I thought this is what you wanted. Yeah, I thought so too. But if Craig gets dragged before a judge, then Rosanna's marriage is going to crumble. And what about that little boy? Gabbett's going to have to grow up without a father. I thought you wanted cold, hard justice for Mitzi. But I want my sister to be happy. And if that means that Missy doesn't get her due misery in this lifetime, then so be it. Carly, what the hell am I supposed to do now? I can't just make this whole thing disappear, you know? Take a snack. What? I've got some news for you. What is it? Mitzi Matters flew the coop. You're not telling me this right now. She got on a plane to Mexico. Is there anything else you want me to check out? No, thanks. Great! <laughs> You can't arrest Craig without Mitzi's confession, and, and so now you don't have to call my sister and tell her that you're putting her husband in jail. You are entirely too lucky for your own good. It remains to be seen. Why, what's the problem now? Your Dudley Do-Right husband told Paul Ryan about my deal with Mitzi, and if Paul Ryan tells her... Okay, Rosanna, well, there's only one thing that you can do now, Craig. You need to go to Rosanna, you need to tell her what happened, and you need to beg her forgiveness. Yeah, because you, right. just imagine what she'll do if she finds out about your little setup from somebody else. Like Paul himself. At this time, Your Honor, Ms. Ryan would like to change her plea. To guilty. Uh, Ms. Ryan would like to address the court in her own defense. I'll allow it. Please rise, Miss Ryan. You've heard the charges against you. How do you respond? I broke the law, Your Honor. That's absolutely true. But I had a reason. My son, he was in trouble and he didn't know what to do. Everything I did was to protect him. I'm a mother. That's what mothers do. Rosanna. Hello. <laughs> I tried calling you a few minutes ago. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just putting Cabot down. Yeah. Something the matter? Yeah. Have you had any visitors? Any phone calls? Uh, Clark came by. He took Lucy out on a date. Um, but besides that... <laughs> yes, no, I, I know. Have you heard from Paul Ryan? Uh, why? Something to tell you. What is it? Mitzi claims she saw Paul poisoning Rose's champagne. Um... Yeah, uh, so mm -hmm. I heard. Yes. Why? Well, I'm the one who encouraged her to go to the police. And I want you to know how I feel about that. Okay. Uh, okay, tell me how you, how you feel about that. Well, her story was that she saw Paul put something that could have been poison into the champagne. And I told her to go to the police. I gave her some cash. She was strapped. Uh, and now, <laughs> Jack thinks I bribed her. Well, did you? I told you that... No, no, I, I know what you told me. I'm asking you. Did Mitzi accuse Paul because you bribed her? To me. They know that. There's nothing I wouldn't do for them. 
Is that why you were content to allow your son to get away with murder? When he told me what had happened, all I wanted to do was protect him. I was terrified, but I knew I had to do whatever I could do. And if that's a sin, then I will stand here and take my punishment in silence. Is that all, Miss Ryan? I just have a question. Was I supposed to turn on my child? On my baby? My joy? He didn't ask me to do the things that I did. I did them because I love him. I gave him life. And I have to protect that life. Now you tell me, is there a mother alive who wouldn't have done the same? Pleading guilty. Reasons. You think there's something right about putting a man's freedom on the line? He was suffering. Because of Rose? Well, yes, this was her home. Well, I knew Rose. And I know that she'd want us to be in here nice and toasty and warm and not out there getting frostbite. Mm. It's so sad, isn't it? And this beautiful girl. Dying so young. I still get the urge to call her. Just to say hi. See how she's doing. <coughs> Listen to her say something that'll make me laugh so hard. I wish I'd known her better. There will never be another one like her. Well, listen, uh, let me call the Lakeview and see if I can get a hold of Mitzi. And would you please tell Lily and Holden that we were in here? We didn't just sneak in for no reason? Yeah, sure. I'll call them first thing. I uh, appreciate that. Let's see if they'll connect me. Uh, uh. Hello, this is Rosanna Cabot. Um, can you give me Mitzi Mather's room, please? I, I don't know the room number. Oh, well, um, hmm. Do you, did she leave any forwarding address? Oh, uh, thank you very much. That's strange. Well, she's not there and she didn't leave a forwarding address. <sighs> Do you think we should try her cell phone? That's a very good idea. Do you think she'll answer? <laughs> no. No, for all we know, Rosanna, she's kicking back someplace in Mexico or something. Uh, all right, well, maybe you can answer a question. You said that Mitzi told Jack that she saw Paul put the poison in Rose's glass. Now, is that it? Is that all there is to the story? Or is there something else I should know? What are you afraid of? <laughs> uh, where should I start? Um, let me just tell you what happened. He told me that Mitzi told him she saw Paul putting the poison in Rose's glass. Then he told me that he encouraged her to go to the police to protect me from Paul as much as anything else. Then he told me he gave her money. Why would he do that? I don't know, because she was broke or she needed it. It was some sort of incentive, kind of like a bribe, but not really, uh. to go to the police. And the more I thought about it, the more implausible the story seemed. Why? Because Craig is extremely loyal to his family and his friends, but the rest of the world barely registers on him. Now, Mitzi is an acquaintance. At the very best, he's a little cheap. He wouldn't be giving her money. Yeah, well, it's possible, isn't it? Yes, it's possible. Which is why I would like to find Mitzi and hear her side of the story. Uh, well, there is there is one small problem with that, and that problem would be that Mitzi is even less reliable than Craig. You're right. You're right. She obviously lied about seeing Paul put the poison in the glass, so who knows if we could believe anything she said. Do you know, Rosanna, what I think you should do? <gasps> no. What? I think that you should go home to that husband and that beautiful baby, that stunning stepdaughter and that magnificent mansion, and enjoy it, enjoy it all. And just forget.